Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is DJ. Enough to have you here. They call me Big Spanish. I'm here with my brother TJ. What's up? What's up? From Scratch Academy. Scratch TJ, TJ the Academy DJ. TJ the DJ. Music and that we play. play with the legendary DMC. What's up, y'all? One third of Run DMC. What's, what's up, guys? How y'all doing, good, man? Happy yeah. holidays. No, happy you, holidays man. to you and you. Yeah, what you what know, are you guys man. doing for Thanksgiving? Eating. Uh huh. Lots you? of turkey. Yeah. Lots of turkey. Today, actually, I'm celebrating early with the family. Oh, so. good for you. Yeah, for that's sure. That's what's up, man. With friends and fam. So we're here to talk about an incredible concert that's happening December 19th at the Barclays. Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets. You know, of course, I got their hat on today. Um, these guys, Run DMC, uh, LL Cool J, Lecrae, uh, Diggy Simmons, uh, TJ, uh, Z Trip, um, Ray Shrimmerd. Uh, Troy Ave, DJ Khaled, and friends. What does this uh, What does this mean to you guys this holiday season? This is This is crazy for me. I mean, just just being able to perform around DMC in general is wild. Like, right. I remember going on tour with them in 1997 in Europe. Look like, at with, that. Like, with like JoJo and That's Diggy. So Diggy was like yeah. this big man. Like That's so kids. Crazy. And that was nine, That was 97. I was like six. So I'm 23 now to be able to perform with them at, at Barclays is wild, you know? So yeah, to I'm do it all over that. again, what does that mean for you, um, D? Well, no, um, for me, it's just weird because it's the first time I ever did a Christmas holiday thing in my own city. Oh, you know, I, I was I, never home. You know, I interviewed Ron, he said the same thing. We've never done nothing here for the holiday. Wow, so, how's it so, feel to, so how does it feel to come home? It always feels good to come home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the best. And then what do you think? No, about it's not that good though, because everybody <laughs> wants tickets. But this is no, this is <laughs> great. But no, the idea so, of being in New York is crazy, but I understand <laughs> what athletes go through. No, I probably don't. I can only imagine what athletes go through. All right, like, so it's crazy. It Eric changed, is over there right now. It changed from <laughs> it changed from being excited about the show, which is dope. Okay, to I'm hiding right now. Okay, so I wait, shouldn't wait. even be here doing this interview, man. How many people are hitting up Eric right now? Like yo, I he need said, tickets. listen, he had the same number for 25 years. He can't. Damn, I'm about to change my number. Really? So can only imagine. Yeah, he that's, had the same number. That's E over there, Eric. Twenty five years. Um, Since back in the day, but I mean, it's you know what? It's dope because it's in New York, right? And it's two stations that I grew up on coming together I was about to, ask to you bring. That. It's a generational thing. I love that. You never see, and this goes out to the music business too, right? You never see our genre of hip hop celebrate gener generation. right? Everything is separate. This and that, but rock does it, jazz does it, right. the blues does it. This should be a lesson to us. I think it you know is. What I'm saying where, where you know David Grohl and Paul McCartney won the Grammy a couple of years ago together. Right. So somebody asked me, "Yo, you think that'll ever happen in hip hop?" I said, "It better happen." Like my vision is like this is like this is like Chuck D making a record with Kendrick Lamar. Exactly. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got yeah. the young and you got the old, but it's the whole thing right. of who we all are. Right. And we for, all hip -hop. And for me, it's, uh, you know, I get to bring my son. My son's 14 years old. And I'm like, you know what? Father's you're gonna you're, you're, you're going to come with me and we're going to celebrate this holiday together. Um, and he's like, Dad, but um, Run DMC. I said, I want you to see who Run DMC is. I want you to see who uh, Cool J is. Right. He knows of you guys, but I want him to actually to see, see the performance. Right, right. So we're going to teach him. But at the same time, I get to hang out. Right, right, exactly. And, 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 yes. and party Fun with my you. family, exactly. and then see hip hop also as a family. Right. So that that to me is special. Um, but like nice and smooth said, this is how we do. Yes. The old to the new. Yes. The new. The old. Yes. The old. Y'all yeah, remember that, right? <laughs> yes. Shout out to nice and smooth. Of course. Now, um, what about New York? We talked about New York. It's mm -hmm. it's home for you. Mm -hmm. um, PQE, what about, Brooklyn. What Queens about the Expressway. what about the toughness in New York? Let's talk about no. that for a second. Sometimes the, the toughness of New York, how, you know, things don't phase New York, because you know that. Right. You know, there's celebrities who go to Walgreens. There's celebrities in this town who ride the train. Like, right. a lot of New Yorkers don't, aren't phased by a lot of this, uh, you know, these superstars that we have uh, in the city. Right, does right, that, right. Does, does that change when you're performing in your, in your hometown? No, not New York? at all. Uh -huh. Not at all, because it's not like we're performing. It's like we are performing. Uh, it's not like Run DMC's performing for y'all. Right. It's like we are performing uh, together. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. That's how it goes down. Yeah, you know, honestly. whether it's 
whether it's me rooting for who's on stage, singing right. with them, right? Or when I'm up there doing it, they singing. That's you know great. what I'm saying? I've That's been great. to a lot of festivals like throughout the last like year and a half, two uh -huh. years, and I've yet to see another group like Run DMC control the crowd the way they do. Wow! Like Made in America that first year, right? There was people like J B, like Kendrick was even out there, and I got to watch backstage for all these performances, and yet I still didn't be able, I still wasn't able to catch like the amount of hands go way back 80,000 everybody's hands up in the air for Run DMC. You know? That's so amazing. I've yet to see that. So that's right, amazing. it's a performance of yeah. the city when we come through. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 a, that's a blessing in disguise. Um, is there anything you guys are uh, going to try new for the show? Maybe. We'll have to find out. Ah. Yeah, we can't give away. Oh, oh okay. All right. All right. How does it um, feel to, to do a show with like LL Cool J? Come on, man. LL is a one-man arsenal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Think about LL. To, to think, to, to me running J. Cool, but it's probably three people in all of hip-hop forever that will put a foot in the behind. Dougie Fresh by herself, KRS-One by herself, and LL Cool J by herself. And the thing about LL, he was on Def Jam, That's right. so he was always alone. But he always put the fear of God and run to you see who Dini sets a sign. And he's always. like a one man. And the thing about LL is this is LL throughout his whole career, he make you go, oh man. Oh. Because he got hits. Ah, he sure does. He got hits. Right. He got hits. And plus, the thing with LL is um, he's very inspirational. Right. He's very inspirational. And at every point in his career when somebody said something, he would always come back with a mama said, knock you. What? <laughs> I can't make it hit boom. You know, hey, love, do it, do it. Like, it's going to be crazy. Um, That's the good thing about um, LL. It's like, damn, I forgot about that one. No? Oh, whoa, I forgot about that one. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Kane, too. Big Daddy Kane, too. I yeah. remember Jay used to always say, uh oh, we about to get our ass kicked. Because Kane, <laughs> the Karis Wood, LL, and Dougie Fresh. Dougie Fresh whipped our ass by himself because he pulled out the harmonica and started doing the beatbox and make the whole I audience say you. I mean, uh, um, uh, la -di -da. come yeah, on. Yeah. But it's crazy. You know, the, th the LL thing is like when we was on tour, the Raising Hell thing, because it was Run DMC, LL Cool J, Houdini, and the Beastie Boys. So wow. this is like. This is like a taste of what Raising Hell a taste, is, like. A taste. is like. A taste. Yeah. Um, do you think any like surprise guests will come out for a, a show like this? No, no. Do you think family? No. Oh, you talking no, about I, us I don't think us people? at all. I think it's you oh, guys. Oh, the, the acts bringing people out. Yeah. People, yeah, definitely. You think it'll happen? Some surprises, yeah. I think, I think yeah. it'll happen too. I mean, why not? To, yeah. Something special. Um, do you think... I gotta make some phone calls. We damn sure. Yeah, why not? Let's, let's do it. Anything special? You guys do anything special for Jam Master J? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Run DMC, they like Run and D do like 10 of their songs and then they do a tribute to my father and my brother and I come out and, and they do team. it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So then we finish yeah. up okay. the show with them. So That's what's fun. up. Yeah. Um, you guys want to shout anybody out? You guys want to say hello to any of your, of your friends that are probably watching? What's up, mom? <laughs> I always wanted to do that, actually. <laughs> hey, ma. What's your mom's name? Terry. Terry Mizell. What's up, mom? Man. Hey, mama. Hey, mama Terry. How you everybody doing? Do that. Pleasure to meet you. And um, we hope to see you. Is mom going to be at the there show? Better be, oh, yeah, everybody course, better be at the yes? show. Wow. Everybody yes? better be at the show. My little brother, big show. brother, is soon to be a family. All right, go get your family. tickets now at Ticketmaster. Don't forget, December 19th, the Barclay. It's the place um, to be. It, it's definitely the place to be. Run DMC, LL Cool J, Lecrae. DJ Khaled, uh, Ray Schremer, Troy Ave, um, Z Trip, TJ, who else? Um, damn, that's Frosty the Snowman, and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Santa, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus. <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. I have nothing else. Did you say Diggy? Well, well Diggy. yeah. He, oh, Diggy. we said Diggy. He said that, I think that's it. Who's singing? They got some Anything singers else? there, though, right? No. No yeah. singers? It's just all hip-hop? No, I think it's all hip-hop. I might come out and bust a few ballads or so. I don't know. Really? Yeah? No, I'm just kidding. Well, I know, I listen, really if, if, if I know you guys and I know what, what you guys are about, something's going to happen. Something special. Something magical. So make sure you guys uh, tune in. Number 19, Barclays. We'll get tickets if you don't got them. Ticketmaster.com. BQE, Brooklyn Queens Expressway. Exactly. That's so what it is. we've been connected. <laughs> Thank you to Scratch Academy for holding us down. 
But let us use their uh, beautiful facility. That's a great and, um, place. It's a College of DJ. No, it's a beautiful place, man. Incredible place here. Um, you can learn to be like him. No, yeah. it's nothing like him. Matter you can like, learn you know to what? be like I'm learning, fact, I'm know learning what? here, bro. Let's, let's, let's get TJ on the set. Let's <laughs> to see demonstrate let's what's what going to be happening let's get, at the let's, Barclays. Let's, yes, exactly. And if you want to get and down And this happens like every him. day here in New York City. Exactly. We ain't scared of nothing. Yes. TJ, let's see Like Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. <laughs> Daryl's ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> nothing. Don't have me pull out my crossbow on you. Nothing.